nice little neighborhood. This area uh, kind of grew up in the in the 90s is when most of the homes in this little community were built. That home there, probably early 2000s. This is a newer home. There's a good example of a house built probably in the 90s. Uh, that house was probably built around 2006. You got a newer home there. This house was built in 1995, um, so that makes sense. It's uh, 2,228 square feet. Uh, so this is Malaluca, or otherwise known as Pepper Tree. So it definitely needs some landscaping. You know, this used to be a bed here filled with white rock, but we well, can't even see it anymore. Two car garage. Uh, it's a pretty different floor plan. You don't see this very often. I think up north this would be called a split floor plan. Uh, of course, we don't have a basement here, but you can see you get a step up to the to the first floor. When you get in, you you step back down to the garage. The stairs have been tiled. They're chipped, discolored. This has been screened in, and this is probably not original. You can see all the fascia and soft that needs to be either painted or pressure washed. Original windows. Uh, so you have a double door here. Side. Okay, walking inside, first thing you see to the left, you have a staircase with a little, a little fireplace. I don't know where the smoke's going, but uh, just a little fake little fireplace, obviously. Uh, I was wondering maybe if it was LED or something, though. Let me just lock this up. No one comes in while I'm doing the video. So you have stairs going upstairs. We'll do that last. Okay, so standing with my back to the double doors. Staircase to the left. Family room out that way overlooking the water. Here's your kitchen. Any little plant shelf. So you have, uh, this is, it looks like hardwood floors, but it's, it's laminate. You can see the buckling and the spacing. And uh, so, you know, a house needs a lot of work. I mean, I walked through it first, but I mean, obviously it needs painted. Windows need to be addressed. You know, these things, outdated. But of course you have wiring there, so to do something with it. And, uh, you know, fan needs to be replaced. That thing's horrible, covered in dust. And, and that's actual stone. A little crawl space underneath here for storage. I see. Okay, so that looks like copper pipe for the fireplace. But I just don't know. You know, I mean, if it's gas, sure, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know much about fireplaces, but uh, even if it's gas, I mean, where's the heat go? So. Maybe you guys know more about that. This is actually, this is painted. <laughs> okay, so you have uh, Corian countertops. Everything's rough. These countertops, they're discolored, faded. You have that stone backsplash. It's the same stone that's over there. Your old coil top. Stove, hot point, Frigidaire microwave, discolored. You know, builder grade cabinets. This is probably that laminate style. 
just seems like it has that shiny finish to it. Um, yeah, as you can see here, right? Frigidaire refrigerator. It's cold. Here's your pantry. You know, everything needs to be painted. More cabinets over here. See some pot and pan drawers. It's kind of like a little bit of a bar that goes out to the family room there. Uh, this countertop here is completely cracked. Lights above the bar. Here's your dishwasher. It's a Kenmore. That thing looks super old. Probably original. Looks like you have some water damage down there. Uh, yeah, I should show the floors a little better. Floors are rough. I mean, they need to be replaced. You're, you're not fixing that. Look at your quarter around your baseboards. Yeah, that's that's been wet many times. And we're gonna go out to the family room now. So you have one, two, three sliders, some six foot sliders, looks like 10 foot sliders. Um, so I'm guessing this room was added on. I just get that feeling. I feel like I'm in an old Catholic mission, right? Maybe some urns up here. You got paint, you got wallpaper. Uh, looks like they were using this as their dining room based on the light that they have centered over this space. These floors aren't that bad. It's, it's laminate, but they definitely look, they're newer than those and look nicer. So there's your pass through to the kitchen. Your built-in shelves. Um, so you get a closet right here. You can tell, see, I'm right. So this is the original concrete block stucco finish. This was the outside of the back of the house at one point. And then they, yeah, I mean, even that was probably original, right? This is your break, your whole house breaker. I didn't expect that to come off. Uh, but then they to air condition this room here. They made this little space to put in your air handler So yeah, that was the back of the house Wood concrete block So yeah, this was a little window that you know, uh, you probably have a little shelf right here and this would be your lanai at one point See so built-in shelves rough I mean that can all be patched and painted this is probably the back side of an exterior light I'm guessing okay So you have a little guest bedroom here. Has a closet. Needs to be painted. This here is, you know, they have two lights, but. Hmm. 
just for the two lights? I don't know. But this was the back of the house at some point. No, this was added on too, because this is, this is wood frame. That's wood frame. So. Original windows, 1995. They all need to be re -cocked. need new screens, cleaned up or replaced. Same flooring that you have when you first walk in. Okay, so there's your front door. So we did a big loop. Another guest bedroom. This must have been a little Susie's room. It's a beautiful Pepto-Bismol pink. And it's as pink as it looks in person as it does in this video from what I'm seeing. Here's the original carpet. So this is, has been tiled since. So that's probably 1995 carpet right there. Okay, come across and here's a guest bathroom. Made a single vanity with an acrylic top. Tub shower combination. Some wallpaper up here. Mounted medicine cabinet. It's a beautiful 1995 mauve that was uh, faux painted. You can barely see it, but. That faux painting, probably getting into too much detail here, but uh, anyways, let me just show what I see. Okay, back out to you. We have a little linen closet. And back out to the entrance. And then we'll go into the garage. Heading into the garage, going down the stairs. So this is driveway level here now. As you can see, it's about two feet. The, the, the first floor, I guess we'll call it, living room, family room, is about two feet higher than the driveway and the garage. You have a hook up here for washer and dryer. There is a washer. Don't know if it works. Hot water heater looks newer. Got your hurricane shutters, and then there's more over here. Don't know what that is. Looks like it would be for a whole house vacuum system, but I didn't see that. Wasn't looking either. Original garage door, 1995, so that is, you know, three hurricane codes ago. It is insulated, though. Here's your breaker panel. And back upstairs. Stairs. Banisters sturdy. Some damage here. More laminate flooring. Let's get a look from above. Okay, so you have a little loft here. Another 
air handler. Double doors going into the master bedroom. The fan's pretty ugly and dusty. Laminate wood flooring up here. Okay. Don't know what that is. <laughs> it's strange right in the middle of the bedroom. Big walk in closet. Came in the front of the house. You get this little bench seat here. Can't get my fingers in there and lift it up. in there too. You know, decent sized bedroom. I imagine your bed would go here though. So wouldn't you want your TV there? Maybe they have the TV on top of that thing? I don't know. Master bedroom. Okay. Single sink. It's a little warm in here. Definitely, uh, this room gets pounded by the sun. Nice view, though. Right. While you're while you're doing your business, right here. It's always nice to look over at beautiful Cape Coral Canal. Jacuzzi tub. Beautiful Cape Coral waterfall. And you have your uh, RV grade shower. Uh, that's paint. It's not. That's not uh, wallpaper. Okay, back out. Before I leave this room, I just kind of want to show, like, that's the condition of the home. I mean, just as an example, I showed a little bit of that, but pretty much everywhere I look needs recocked, repainted, replaced. see that and the whole place is like that not very clean people so okay let me go back out here Turn this off so I can open this. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna be careful out here because I don't know how sturdy this deck is, but I will let you know. First steps feel okay. Get some wood right there. Yeah, that needs to be replaced. Oh, oh no. Okay, I, I almost just fell right through there. I'm not kidding. So let me stay by the edges. I'm not trying to be dramatic. <laughs> I don't weigh that much, but yeah, that, that started to buckle completely. This, this deck's got to go. 
I mean, you can see obviously, but just even there, it looked okay. It stepped on, that's, that's a brittle dry wood with very little support. And you can see how dirty everything is out here. The original well. You know, it doesn't have a seawall. You have a fence, you can have a dog, that's nice, but uh, yeah, no seawall. All right. Get back inside, see if I can do this without dying. Yeah, close to the house is, feels a little better. I like the metal roof. Yeah, you can see this was added on too. I mean, to leave that gap, you know, builder wouldn't do that if this was here day one. Okay, back downstairs. It's a balmy 81 degrees in here. off so I can open this up. Okay, all these sliders are pretty janky. They're mismatched. Some don't open. Really crusty. None of them slide. A little outside shower. Let's see if this thing works. Might be off. I guess this could be a little barbecue area or something. Uh, you know, your water runoff from the roof is going to come right down this pipe. This drain spout. And go out here, I guess. One of the air conditioners. Yard needs a lot of work. I don't know, you know, they have rocks here, but I don't see any kind of a bed. cutting station. That's a neighbor's property though. But in case you're wondering what that is. Well, there's a lot of fish in there. I see some brim swimming by right now. So yeah, you can see the deck was added on. This, this whole structure right here was added on. Yep, Cape Coral Freshwater Canal. You got your lily pads and your brim swimming around. It's probably alligators in here. There's 
your other AC unit. broken. It's PVC fencing. It's bent. You can see it's bent here. Broken hinge. That down there is broken as well. Yeah, so here's where the house probably ended. Right here you can see a little bit of a crack.